Chef Paul Steele of the Phoenix Public Market Cafe from uh, downtown Phoenix is here making up some really healthy alternatives for us from chickpea pancakes to uh, lentil, lentil soup, lentil coconut soup to black bean soup next. Black bean soup. Let's show everybody at home what we're uh, what we're our ultimate goal here is. This is the ultimate goal. <laughs> <laughs> on a good day, on right? A good day, so. Okay. All right. These are all of your ingredients, yes. and I know that you like to focus on fresh. Yes, and simplicity. We don't use a whole lot of ingredients in recipes because it's straightforward. Excellent. Excellent. Well, it looks delicious, I can tell you that. So, what are we starting with here? So, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Um, carrots and onions. Yeah, the sizzle. The, these are awesome. This is a dried um, it's a chili from Hawaka. Okay. So if you smell it, mm -hmm. it's got a real smoky Ooh. flavor. Wow, that's Sent powerful. Yeah. So we use that, and this kind of gives tricks your tongue into thinking that there's meat in there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because of the smoky flavor? Yeah. Interesting. So it adds a nice uh, character to the soup. Do you guys serve um, meat at all at the restaurant? We do. Okay. We so have, if you, uh, you, you have something We have for alternatives. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you just put some tomatoes in some there, Some right? tomatoes in there. Okay. Um, this one is just kind of throw it all in there. All right. And then uh, usually you soak your beans before you cook with them. Okay. For how so, long? Uh, overnight. Okay. So you'd have your ingredients, you saute it up, it gets nice and translucent. And then you would add your soaked beans. The water and everything, right? That you um, soak the beans in. Strain off the water oh, and okay. then use like a vegetable stock. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it gives a little bit more flavor. So this is going to cook down. Mm -hmm. um, the tomatoes are going to break down. It's going to get stewy like. Mm. And then we take a little bit of it and we puree it. Okay. And we puree the chili in there, so you get that. Oh, nice, you leave that in there. Yeah. Okay. But we take the seeds out. That way, it's not too spicy. Oh, would it be? Would it be like over the top spicy if we left the no, seeds in it's, it? No, it's pretty mild. Okay. I think anything in large quantities, it's going to get spicy. So. Sir, may I have some soup, please? <laughs> yes, you may. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. So black bean oh, soup. That looks amazing. As easy as it gets. And then at the restaurant, we put tomatoes are awesome right now. Uh, from McClendon, One Windmill Farms, um, yellow, red tomatoes on top, mm. little sprig of cilantro. Mm. Susan, you have to come in and here. A little squeeze of yeah, water. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking look at, at Sid and Dee, and they're just like their mouths their are mouths watering. Are watering. <laughs> because look at this. Can you? This right here. Does it? Would it? Truly get any better than no, this, right? It here. doesn't get any better this than is, this. This is a your spinach salad. Yes, and we use uh, garbanzo beans, mixed olives, local feta cheese. Fantastic. Crow's dairy. And gone to spoon. Thank you very much, Chef. We've got more information about the Phoenix Public Market on SonoranLiving.com. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Food truck Fridays are fun. Yes, they are. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning.